comments and meta information. So the meta tag sits within the head section and it gives more information about the web page. So you might have some character sets as well as meta tag, meta descriptions, and so on. There's also comment. So comments as well are not meant to be visible to the web page viewer, but they're meant to serve as a way to document and comment within your code and it makes the code more readable and it's good practice to be adding comments. So that just tells you when you're building out your web page what you might want to do and what you're planning to do for your website. So the exercise is to add in comments and add comments within your website on your plans for the next part of what you want to create and what HTML code you need to add. And I've got an example here of how we write a comment. So we start with the less than sign, the explanation mark, dash, dash, and then the dash, dash, and the greater than sign to conclude it. And any of the content within is not gonna be presented on the page, and it's just grayed out, and it'll be commented out only for use within the source code. So going into our HTML document, so let's get rid of some of this and let's add in a comment underneath the unordered list and brackets is gonna gray it out. So this say comment will add more sections. And this is really helpful if I come back into this document, maybe six months down the line and I've forgotten what I want it to do and what I was thinking then I can see that I did want to add in more sections after here. As well, I might want to add in a comment up here that I want to add in more details. Maybe I want to add in some images and so on. There's also the meta tags. And these are, these are tags that you're going to find within the head section of your page. And they typically have various attributes. So the character set will declare the page character encoding. And there's a number of different encoding styles. So UTF-8 is the one that we would typically use. And then just save that. And when we refresh the page, we're not gonna see the meta information. We're not gonna see the comments. It is visible when we look at the page source and it is visible within our HTML file when we're looking at it. 